The Senate has passed the National Minimum Wage Bill. The bill, which passed through a debate on the floor of the Senate, recommends 30,000 naira for both state and federal workers. Our correspondent, Amadine Uyi, reports. The clamor for a new national minimum wage had predated the 8th National Assembly. Nigerian workers had expressed their discontent through a series of citywide protests and strike actions where it seemed their complaints fell on deaf ears. Because of Nigerian system and governance is security and welfare of the people. And therefore welfare of workers fall within that strategic framework of the primary purpose of governance. However, with the winding down of the 8th National Assembly, all stakeholders agreed there was a need to review workers' monthly pay in an effort to reduce the burden of inflation and an increasing high cost of living. On the floor of the Senate, lawmakers debated on the need to peg a sum of 30,000 naira as a new national minimum wage and the functions of the reviewing tripartite committee going forward. National Assembly cannot be in the way of workers, and this is the way we can demonstrate this action. And I think 30,000 that is being recommended in this bill is very adequate, and every state can pay. We should learn from our experiences. This country has always lost a lot of man hours each time our workers go on strike. And it would be advisable that the tripartite committee, which has now been recommended here, be given a cycle to operate instead of leaving it loose. We could say, as a Senate, that the uh, tripartite committee should have powers to meet either every three years or every five years. The Senate unanimously agreed to accept recommendations for the new national minimum wage. This administration has fulfilled its promise to Nigerian workers. It promised to do this, give a new national minimum wage to the Nigerian workers, and it has fulfilled that promise. Nigerian workers and the organized labor will now hear a sigh of relief as the major implication for the minimum wage bill passing the third reading on the floor of the Senate implies that it is now ready to be transmitted to the President for assent. Let us recall now that, recall that before now the House of Representatives had passed their own version of the minimum wage bill waiting for concurrence from the Senate. Now that it has been concurred and the Senate has also passed the bill, it is ready to be sent to Mr. President for assent. One other major recommendation made by the lawmakers is that they urged uh, the federal government to review the revenue sharing formula between the tier three tiers of government so that insolvent states will be able to pay the minimum, the 30,000 minimum wage, thereby reducing the financial burden on them. Without that, states will not be able to pay. And it is not worth it if we make this constitutional amendment only for states not to be able to pay. The government needs to take this seriously and do something about it immediately. The President of the Senate, Dr. Bukala Saraki, while commending the efforts of the lawmakers, urged workers to show their gratitude by being more committed. To prescribe a national minimum wage for worker and for related matters 2019 is ready a third time and passed. We hope with this our workers too will double their efforts, increase productivity, and our thought general productivity of the country also would improve. Amadine Uyi, Plus TV Africa.